Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. We've got a CCNA practice exam and lab for you. We've got quite a bit here today uh, in this particular practice exam. I'm going to show you a couple of questions on the whiteboard uh, all at one time actually because they are kind of intertwined and we're going to check out the answers on live Cisco routers as well. It is indeed our seventh anniversary and thank you so much because without you we wouldn't be here and we would not be having a seventh anniversary and on top of those free hard copies of my CCNA Bulldog study guide going out right now you definitely want to check that out. We have gotten together with our friends at Udemy that do the hosting of our video course. I just wanted to show you this real quick. We've now got direct links to the 30-minute sample lectures because I don't believe in giving three-minute uh, samples. And all you've got to do is no registration, nothing like that required at all. You don't have to break out your wallet to watch these. I'll put the links in the YouTube description as well. But also when you just click the link on our homepage, and of course that will be greatly changed here shortly. Uh, the entire website's getting a total makeover. But we will still have these out front for you one way or the other. And then frankly you can just start watching right there. All you got to do is click. So make sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and head over to the questions for the day. The first one. Which of the following best describes the LMI as it relates to the DTE and DCE? And I'll read the answers for those of you who aren't watching the video. Uh, sent and expected by both devices. Sent by the DTE, expected by DCE. Sent by DCE, expected by DTE. Or the LMI is unrelated to these communications. Second question, what command allows you to actually see the LMI? And there are two answers to that because I didn't say really live, but that's what I meant. And then finally, how many missed LMI before the line protocol goes down? Before we head over to the live equipment, just a, a quick dad lecture as I like to call it, uh, occasionally I get a little feedback. It's like, man, you spend a lot of time on frame. And I really do, and it's funny because a gentleman by the name of Dallas Brown emailed me. Uh, I got the email no more than 10 minutes ago, and he had just passed his ICND2, finished his CCNA up, obviously a happy guy. And the first thing he said was, man, I'm glad you spend a lot of time on frame relay because it is all over the exam. And it's tied into troubleshooting. It's just tied into a lot of things. So it's just something we got to know. Now let's talk about this LMI, this local management interface and how it relates to frame relay. This is really our keep alive. Almost everything we do in networking, certainly if it's dynamic, it's got to have some kind of keep alive. Uh, so frame relay does not have hello packets per se, but that's kind of what the LMI is. Now the LMI is going to be sent by the DCE and it's expected by the DTE device. And since our Cisco router is going to be a DTE, let's head out there and let me bring that up instead. There we go. Here's how we take a look at the frame LMI. And I'm going to show you two commands for this. And the first one is show frame LMI. Now, the first thing you should keep in mind is just kind of get all these out of your mind right now. These are for your more advanced frame studies. And there are some in here you may never refer to. But the two you're definitely going to be watching are your number of inquiries sent and the number of messages received. As long as these continue to increment, you're good. When they both stop incrementing, that's bad. You can also see your frame relay type here. It's also showing you what type of interface you're working with here, and that is a DTE. So we see a couple of pieces of helpful information here. And now that I run that again, you can see that this is up to 164 and this is up to 165. So that is really a good thing. Those are the two numbers you want to see continue to increment. Now, that's one way to see what the LMI type is. But what I wanted to show you here was also a debug. And it's debug frame LMI. And one thing with frame on the exam, you've got to have all these commands down cold because you, know, you just have so many. There are so many different things to look at in Frame Relay. Now I'm going to let this run for a moment. And don't worry about knowing what everything in here is. But mostly what we want to watch is this My Sequence and Your Scene. And I'm going to let this keep running because this is where you should continue to see incrementation as well. And we see 170, 168. We want to see that continue to go up. Now I'm going to do a quick you all here. And let's go ahead and create an LMI mismatch. And we do that with the command frame LMI type. And we know the types, right? We can do this in our sleep. Cisco ANSI Q933A. I'm going to change this to ANSI. 
Yeah, let's do a show frame LMI. I was going to do a debug, but let's do a show. And you know, nothing happened immediately. Sometimes you change some values in Cisco world and, and bad things happen immediately. But this one didn't. But notice now we're getting some timeouts or a timeout. Because remember what the default time here is for the LMI? It's 10 seconds. That's another really good value to know. So now we're up to two timeouts. We haven't seen anything about the LMI mismatch or uh, you know, bringing the line down. And there it goes. The line protocol on interface serial zero just went down. And we know what that means, right? We do a show interface serial zero. This is a classic. Serial zero is up. Line protocol is down. Of course, what that means, physically, the interface is fine. Logically, it is not. And of course, we know what the logical issue is here because the line protocol went down after three timeouts. Now, do you think it's going to come back up immediately? We'll go ahead and fix that right back up. Of course, we know those again. I could have done no frame LMA type ANSI too, but I'm just going to set it back to the default manually. And let's just hang out here and see what happens. I don't think we're going to have to hang out too long, but notice the, inter the uh, what's that thing called again? The interface? <laughs> the interface did not come back up immediately. And we were up to seven timeouts, and the line protocol did come back up after about 30 seconds. And now you will see these two continue to increment, and hopefully we do not see the timeouts increment. So when the timeouts keep incrementing, uh, if that sounds bad, that's because it is. So quickly going over this, a lot of good stuff here for Frame Relay. I was ad-libbing there uh, to get it all into the video. But again, the LMI is going to be sent by the DCE. It's expected by the DTE. We saw one way to see what the LMI type was, and that was a show frame LMI, and then debug frame LMI to see what's going on. And we know that when we miss three LMI, the line protocol is going to go down. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you'll join me out on Twitter and YouTube and the blog and our Facebook page as well. And this summer we got all kinds of freebies coming on the Kindle Fire, the iPad, and all kinds of great things. It's the biggest summer we've ever had here. And a lot of things we've been working on for a long time are just about to take uh, fruit, if you will. And it's all thanks to Bulldogs like you. Thanks for watching. And I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.